What's up guys? So I've decided that instead of more Dynasty videos, what I'm going to do for the rest of college football season is post a Miami Hurricanes simulation video every week. And so basically I'm going to I'm gonna play, whoever, I'm going to post a video of me playing whoever their opponent is. And so this week it's Virginia Tech, so we're going to play Virginia Tech. So apparently they have added Daryl Porter and Sam Brown to my roster in this game, which is cool. Because when the game initially came out, the names that and when built I this initially program played my first season in Dynasty, Lewis, Taylor, Reed, Portis, Kosar, Testaverde, and it is with reverence, respect, and excitement that we welcome you. We have some you. random dude named Chamberlain starting at center over Rodriguez, which makes no sense. Miami actually has Rodriguez at guard right now. They don't even have him at center, which is interesting. Frank Avia is the backup center in real life. Rock Stadium, home of the Miami Hurricanes. The Hokies will kick it off to get us underway. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. And get set first down. Use the play fake now to throw. A strike downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Apparently, line number one on the game plan attack now immediately. And this quarterback, he smelt it. He knew he had an opportunity. This is a guy who loves taking shots. Any chance he has, you saw it on that first play of the game. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. This running back in the Miami backfield is deadly because of his speed. He's so elusive. You get the feeling like he could score any single time he has the ball. He gives the offense a lot of balance, but he gives him that home run ability, too. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. The Hurricanes come to the line with a new set of downs. They pick up half of it in the second and five. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. Seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when you see these teams match up. The fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. When you talk about the next game on the schedule, they're always looking for it. They've moved it to the 19, first and 10. Wide receiver shows motion. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Finds his man. It's George. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. It's George. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. And the Hurricanes are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Yeah. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Kane! The offense goes as he goes. So really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He shows you all of his ability on that TV.
They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it 7-0. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Coming out with it, it's two. That is a decision he will likely regret. He brings it out of the end zone and he's knocked down at the 10. The Hokies offense will have its first possession of the game. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football in a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much they'll test that quarterback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass. But he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. The RPO, it's complete. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one on and force a tackle for a loss. Lost one on that last one in second and 11. Now on the counter. Just a one-yard game leaves him with third and nine. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. Fires to the big fella. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. A nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. And you can tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got the backfield so quick. The running back had absolutely no chance. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. It's a draw. Runs through a tackle. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? And the Hokies line up the punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And it looks as if there will be no return here as the punt goes out of bounds. Here comes the Hurricane offense yeah. looking to gather a little more strength. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and answer. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal. It's a third down try for the offense. Keeps it on the bootleg. Catch in the middle, it's Restrepo. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. The Canes are marching down the field. They'll run it from the gun. 
working his way and keeping those legs moving. Picks up five down to the 14. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. He rolls all the way down the five-yard line before they finally get him stopped. They'll run it on first and goal. Not much of a gain there on the ground, and that will do it for the first quarter. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. We've played one. Before we move on, let's have a look at the stats. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Running toward the goal line, and it's a fumble! Oh, and he's able to get back on top of it and avert the turnover. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. And they've been able to get within two yards. Now will they try to throw it in for the score? Stumble to the ground. Second quarter might not be gamble time, but inside the three, Palmer, I've got the green light. I'm going for this. I am too, and you're essentially running a two-point play here, right? You've got a play you practiced all week long. That's the play you dial up right here. A field goal here would make it a two-possession game, but they elect to leave the offense on the field on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. Hey, if you're going to go for it on fourth down and you decide to run the football, you've got to be sure up front that you're going to win in the trenches. They didn't get it done that time. They need to be more physical moving forward. They're going to try to do that again in the same type of situation in this game. Finds a good hold there and gets four to give them a little breathing room out to the five. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Leaves it with the back. At the 15, he's loose. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. Got three on first down at second and seven. Running back searching for a hole. God damn it, At 35, he's got room. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Hokey, 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 high tech, tech, VPI. Got it rolling on the ground. And Virginia Tech fans love that chant, and they love the physical ground game, the ability to run the football. That's kind of who they are. That's how. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. Didn't get a ton on the return, but the most important thing, he got the ball, and they've got it at the 48. Not all guys have the ability to, to break on the football, go make a play, and catch it. <laughs> you know, you play defense for a reason. A lot of wide receivers are the ones that do most of the catching. Great job by the defense securing the INT. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. He's got it. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. They'll turn to Martinez. Pick up of one. It's down at the 11. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Looking downfield, it's Ward. He's right on target. Goes out of bounds on the play, and he's got him set up first and goal. And this defense, they have got to get better in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, this offense might hang 50 on you by the end of the game. And the Canes trying to cash it in on first and... And he there takes it to the house. Touchdown, Miami! Another rushing touchdown. touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. And we're 
about to get another look at this hooky offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to pay. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. On second down, they'll take to the air. He'll try to do it himself. At the 45 on its way. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The Hokies come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. He's got it. Nah, it's gonna be He's fun. brought He's down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. First down. Look at the pass. Pass. Defense. Defense. Dang it. I know defenders hate quarterbacks and love nothing more than hitting them, but you're hitting yourself in the gut when you get a 15-yard penalty. Comes out throwing on first down. Gets open down the middle. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Oh, so stupid. Look, you want to make the quarterback feel you. You want to get pressure in his face. That was so close, but just a tad late. And guys, bringing the heat is what any defense is about, but you have to stop short of making that official reach for his flag. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. Back to throw, it's Drones. Let's it go to the end zone. Okay. And he's got it. Touchdown, Hokies. That's good. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown, they cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Off play action on first down. And he fired a bullet in, but it's incomplete. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Looking to move it through the air. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. After the incompletion, it's second down. Off the bootleg to buy a little space. He makes a catch. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered. An explosive play to the 40. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense. Next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. He'll come out throwing on first down. Using the quick game. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field. You saw that right there. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. Another first down, man. This, this defense... This defense couldn't stop a nosebleed right now. It's that bad. Time dwindling away as they try to put... Into the end zone Boom, he goes! Baby. Touchdown, Hurricane! That's out. And he's in 
for his third rushing touchdown. College fantasy football players, that is what you want to see. Plus six, plus six, plus six. Let's go. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. Clock sits at 13 seconds to play in the first half. They'll have to be very efficient as they take over first and 10. He leaves it with his back. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half. So now you're down. I got to maximize every single one. Put your best plays together. Start this drive off on a good note. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, you can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special and some energy, but it's going to start with this offense here executing at a high level. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Well, the offense is trying to go counter, but the defense blows it up. And they do it by getting penetration up the middle, setting up a tackle for them. To the air, it's Groves. Makes the grab on the left. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And the Hokies in the hurry up. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third shot. On the run, it's Tootin. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. You're down. Obviously, at the half, you had a conversation. we got to come out and put points on the board. And, Jesse, it looks like they're going to start with the ground game. And I love this, David, too. Regardless of whether they're losing or they're winning, come out here and try to be the most physical unit here in the second half. Get this run game established. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later. But take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. Trying to find his man on first down. Makes his I connection. Has Miami He's brought down three. quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Back to the air one more time. Quickly complete. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to give them a finish. He'll pull it on the read. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. I don't think the quarterback made the right read on that play. I know they're asking a lot of this QB. He's got a lot to focus on with the pass game and all the different types of runs that they have in their playbook. But on that play there, 
That pre-snap look told me to hand it off. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. No good. Wow, what and a after shame the miss, it's still a 14-point game. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. So they're facing third and short from the 25. I like the flank of the uh, Wide out in motion. The tight end if he's open. But... To throw, it's Ward. It's complete. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. And the Canes come to the line with a new set of downs. To the air on first down. That's caught. It's George. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it up. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit forcing that incompletion. Fires to the big fella. Still running at the 40. And he'll be run out of bounds, and these guys are piling up some serious yardage total. It's amazing in college football, the tight end position and how much has changed. Back in the day, you're a blocking guy. Maybe you catch a flat route. Today, these guys have athleticism, and you just saw it from that dude after the catch on that last one. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. And he's brought down after a nice game. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. Here's the handoff. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. The Hurricanes will move the sticks. No problem for the offense there. They just took care of business. And you practice these situations nowadays. You know you're going to go for a fourth most of the time. Fourth and one, you feel very confident. You're ready to rock and roll. Moving toward the end zone. Ball out. And the defense jumps on it. We are challenging that. Over. Now we'll hang on here. The coach has called a timeout. He wants the officials to take another look. Thinks he's got a good shot at getting oh, this shoot. one overturned. No, he wasn't down. Damn it. Come on, Martinez. You gotta hold on to the oh, I, I was. And how about the keen eyes and sharp awareness from the coach to challenge that call? And the officials agree it'll go his way. They've moved him forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Trying to pound it in. Touchdown, Kane! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Now they have extended this lead, guys, starting to put in the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back.
there can be no panic at this point now. You've worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. We're about to get another look at this rookie offense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Dropping back, it's Drones. Trying to get to it. They get him a rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And I tell you what, this defense, they've heard all about how great this quarterback is. They came in today with a mission, with a purpose. They've been flying around, harassing him, and making life so hard on this offense. Fires to the wide out. Nope. And it's picked off. Couldn't find much room on the return, but what a costly miscue, and they got it at the 26 yard line. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passion, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Tag them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Nine yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense. First and goal from the seven. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. Trying to power it in. Touchdown, Miami! And the beatdown has ensued. Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. The offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. What a pretty clean game all in all. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. And here's the third interception of the night. Gets away from one. Finds some space. He'll go out of bounds, but he gets the ball back. Takes it the other way, and he has created a great sudden change opportunity. Eat up them pass rushers, bring in them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. We get the interception. This one's almost done. They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh nice set with first and goal. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. This offense believes you are given four downs for a reason. You've got to use all of them. Two for three so far today. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. He caught it! Touchdown, Hurricane! And the punishment has been extended. Yeah, that's 
seem to be uh, messing them up. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Tootin. That is a decision he will likely regret. He brings it out of the end zone, and he's knocked down at the 10. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positives. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this. This was open if we had just ran the details to the right route. Oh, that's interesting. Hold on to the football. New. Little that's things sad. can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David. But I'll say this. If you're on oh, offense, don't so go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this right performance. This You've got to lock in. you got to take the week of practice very seriously and find those positives that you can build off, David, you're talking about. They're trying to get to it. Even and they say, all the way back at the five. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just you could tell they were dialed into what was going on, and now just throw another sack in the equation, hitting the quarterback, being disrupted. They've been oh, all over the field. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong. Right? Like they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't. They haven't got it going. It never built the momentum. This is this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. The Hokies decide to punt it away. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one. They went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them. Or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles into the ground. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Martinez on the carry. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. With the catch, it's George. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. That is the beauty of the play when it works. And they probably don't need to risk running a play here, but the head coach might want to rub it in just a little bit. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their total. Yeah, really trying to and you knew this one was over already, 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 but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. The kick is up and good, and put one more on the lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some... Lofts oh, one high and deep. Uh -oh. Damn, how did he What a spectacular that? grab there as they Oops. try to finish this game with a little something to feel That's good about. And he... I, I, I gotta watch that. What happened there? Who got left in the dust? Oh, Porter. Oh, crap. Was I accidentally controlling? 
okay, that's why then, because I didn't, I was apparently controlling for her, and I did not realize that. That explains a lot, because I was controlling Porter, and I did not realize that, and I made him just go the off the but way way too little, and the way too late, but they still yeah, do I, count it for six. Wrong, and a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it's that. pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense, continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. And the returner is stopped. Clock ran out. I wish I could break a big one here. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The Shout quarterback out, just went into brain lock and lost it's track of the play clock. Left. Shut up. Offense set on first down. Looking to throw its ward. Damn. Working that left side now. Right and they pick up just a few on that completion. Timeout is called with just a single a second, left. One second left. And after this play, the cake will be baked. Looking to throw on second down. Oh, sh what was. Oh, my God. Oops. One last incompletion, and that will do it. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff. Rivalries are consistent and winning rivalry games. Well, that's just the best because they hate each other so much So you take the field against your rival and you're able to put forth a performance like that That is worth its weight in gold David unbelievable effort here by the yeah, way yeah, bragging, rights bragging rights for a while. It's it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish now We also got to take in the next couple now games because this is always this is a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest is poked out. We got to look on to the next game, focus in on this next one. All right, that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast and team, I'm Reese Davis. This has week. been another presentation of yeah, EA Sports football, College Football. football. Obviously, I'll be posting other games besides that, but we post in Black, uh, Black Myth Blue Palm and Horizon. So, 277, at 457, Ward was 19 of 23, 283, and one touchdown. Yeah, Ward's a beast, he's awesome. Tinez had one, he had five yards of carry on 35 and 10 at 171. He only broke three tackles, mostly because on most of his runs, there was nowhere, nowhere, nobody was near him. <laughs> and I didn't actually have any 20 yard runs. But George and Restrepo were over 100. Ward had two for 54. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this game, and uh, this game in this video, and as far as college football is concerned, I will be back next week with the, uh, the Pacal video, although, well, I don't know, I might not, because I may try to line it up with when I'm actually playing the game, so. This week we have the Virginia Tech game on Friday, so I'll post it on I'll post this I'll post this on Friday. Uh, but most weeks it'll be Saturday. Plus I have my final I will be posting my final video for Dynasty on Saturday. So this week there will be two college football videos. But I will see y'all again soon. So
and also too, I, like I said, I will be posting uh, Black Mifu Kong and Horizon uh, in addition to College Football, so I will just be posting one College Football video a week, so. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.